straightens out old fur. If you buy an old puppet, um, it straightens it out right away after you wash it and then brush it. But Cookie's a mess, so we don't care. See, I've got a stuffed toy, a little stuffed bee, because in that song they sang about, bees make honey and sure taste good. I went to a convention one time where they had a lady that made puppets, and I have addresses, too, of people that make puppets that, if you ask about that. This is a skunk puppet that someone had made, and it's the basic foam ba base type of puppet that, that I used to. And I don't know who made these, but the same person made this kitty, the cute little mouth and the two little, two little um, balls of fur for cheeks. The little animal eyes from the craft store. And I got two of these. He needs to be, they need to be brushed too. This Miss Vivian and, and uh, McGillicuddy, these wrap around your arms and, and legs and we sing hugs with this puppet. It's another little fluffy dog that I got at an arts and crafts fair. That really is animated if I had time to show it to you. And another, this is a, a scary lion. My little wrap around lion that someone made on the order of the Bunny puppet and the wraparound monkey. Now, this set of puppets is a little bit different. Um, in fact, if you like them, I'm, I made this little boy, got a moving mouth, oh, I bet 15 years ago, and this little girl, and I would send you a free copy of the pattern. Um, if you just write me, Barbara Dewey, 731 North State, Alma, Michigan, 48801. Send a double stamped business size self-addressed envelope. And just ask for the free felt pattern of the little boy and girl. Um, these were commercial puppets. I usually buy two. Then I have another puppet for them to talk to. This is uh, two lion puppets. They're old. They look a lot better when they're new. They're like 15 years old. I think they're still made. And this is Booker Worm. Puppet, and this was Professor Smart. They're a little bit threadbare. I had, used to have light-up noses. Chuckles, and the other Chuckles did too. They had a light-up nose with a battery on the bottom. And I wrote a whole book on, there were two kangaroos, uh, Clue and Camilla Kangaroo, Lessons and Games with uh, Camilla and Clue. When my daughter was about four or five, she acted in the play, I remember, but the kangaroo puppet. And then I had a chicken with light-up eyes or her eyes lit up when she laid eggs. And then a, a grandmother puppet. There's all kinds of puppets like that. If you, I can see if, if you're interested in those type of felt puppets, I can send you the address where you can find those in a catalog. Now, it's, in addition to stuffed toys, there are a few other things. There are pillows you can find. Oh, I, I got three of these for the three bears, but I haven't finished them yet. Someday, they already have a mouth, you see. And uh, these pillows can be made with a, into, into puppets. They could have a, costumes on. The three bears could have, you know, Daddy Bear could have a, a man's costume and Mama Bear a lady's costume and then Baby Bear a baby's costume. Uh, another one like that you might have seen lately in the, I got three or four of these bearskin rugs. People give me things sometimes too, and you know, I collect things. But this could be made into a puppet. The mouth is already set for it. Just have to open it up in the back and make a puppet out of it. Now, this is something different I hadn't seen. I bought these net before last at a store. They're King Kong Gorilla slippers. Slippers seem to be really popular this year, but he's got a mouth already. And so right away I came home and started in with my scissors and opened him up at the bottom. 
and in the back and put the mouthpiece inside. Now I need to measure it just exactly, but I put it inside just to see how it would work and it worked really good. Of course he doesn't have any, I have two. Now I've got a decision of whether or not I cut the one apart and see because there's nothing on the back. If I think I'm gonna to have to show the back, I could cut the one apart and make the back of his head or I could keep them and have a lady and a man. I could put um, a tuxedo on the man and a dress with gloves on the lady and have a really nice set of puppets or ventriloquist figures. Well, I guess that's enough puppets and stuffed toys to be looking at today. But I hope I've given you some ideas of things that you can do with commercial puppets and puppets that you can make by yourself from stuffed toys. So wouldn't you like to write and tell me what you thought about today's program? I'd love to hear from you. My address is Barbara Dewey, 731 North State, Alma, Michigan, 48801. And when you write, send a double stamped business size self-addressed envelope because I'd like to send you a free mini version of my life story entitled, Have I Got Good News For You? In it, I tell about my weight loss, restored health, and my life story, and I'd like to share it with you for free. So don't forget to write. I'd really like to hear from you. Until next time, when I'll have more good news for you, bye-bye.